Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast here at Stallard's Gym in Kingston. Joined by Mr. Sam Jones. How are we, mate? I'm all right, mate. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. All the better for seeing yourself and that sparring, by the way. When people say they'll pay to see sparring, yeah. well, I don't really understand what they mean at times because I wonder how good it can actually be. Yeah. Babich and Joyce is fucking brilliant. Yeah, it was a good spa. It was a good, was a good spa. Babich comes to bring it, doesn't he? And obviously, we, we, we appreciate uh, Alan for coming over. Um, just before we talk about Joyce and that, I'm sure you want to extend your wishes to the Eubank family as well. Um, horrific news come out on Friday about Seb Eubank and um, yeah, boxing always seems to lose its good souls, really. One one hundred percent. I've um, I've uh, spoke to Seb a few times. Uh, he wished me wished me well on my, on my on the birth of my my little baby. He's a, he's a lovely guy, and you can't really ex- express anything towards that. Like, words can't even explain how, how they must be feeling. But yeah, well, condolences to the whole Eubank family. Joe is actually uh, n- knew Seb a, a lot better than I did, and was good good mates with him. And he's gonna wear he's gonna put alkaline on his shorts for the for the fight on Saturday, on uh, next week. Superb, and everyone at IFL extends those wishes to the Eubank family. Yeah. Um, Takam and Joyce now, I'm liking where this is going. He's in the UK, he's confident, he's ready. Um, yeah, I'm just enjoying where, where this is going at the moment. It's going to be a great fight. Like We're not, we're not under the illusion that it's not going to be a great fight. Takam's a flipping fucking good fighter, do you know what I mean? He, he's a beast, he comes to fight and Joe's ready for him. You saw him then, Joe's, Joe's fucking ready for him. So it, whatever Takam wants to bring, Joe's got an answer for it. Does it sort of show the direction you've been taking, Joe, and how you were trying to match him as well? Because if we look at Dubois, what, 6'5", yeah. and rangy, and then you look at someone like Brian Jennings, a middle-sized every heavyweight. Style. Now you've got, yeah, you're every sort of angle of heavyweight you prepped him for now. Every, every, every style, so it's, it's Joe prepares. This is what I mean. There's no point, yeah, Joe, Joe fighting somebody like Dubois and then coming back down and fighting someone that's not going to going to test Joe like we want we want world class opposition that's how you get better that's how Joe gets better Joe wouldn't get up for a fight anything like do you know what I mean less so Takam's going to come to win he's an, he's an old he's a warrior do you know what I mean we, we, I respect him I've seen every one of his spars he's, uh, I have I've watched every one of his spars I think bar one and he's, he's ready to fight well, this is what I need to get onto because yeah. you're not just a manager, you're also a super spy. What, are you just in, so you've been like peeping through the window at a Takam camp? Or? Of course not, I've just had someone film it for me. That simple? Simple, that, yeah. yeah. And how is Takam looking? Very good. Strong, last burst in the last 30 seconds of each round, wants to go to the body, tries to bring one in over the top. That, that's, that's, what he's, that's the game plan. Unless he's, unless he's lied throughout the whole camp and he's like faked 20 spars. So, yeah. yeah. And how's Joyce looking? We saw him then. How do you I mean, other than that, I mean, that, that, that was just fun. I mean, like, you, you would see more than me. But how did you think that went? It's just 12 rounds. At, what kind of pace was that? Well, you've got people jumping in who have only done a couple of rounds, and Joyce is breezing through the 12. So Babich, so. Done, uh, Babich done six with Joe off the spin. Then he came out. Another guy come in. Two rounds. And then Babich come in again for two rounds. And then the other guy finished off with another two rounds. It's mad pace. Uh, mad pace. So Joe's ready. Have you noticed a difference with Joe? Because obviously the last fight with Daniel, there was more sort of talk and hype around it. There's perhaps less here, but for a trickier fight. So it's almost like two polar opposites. Have you noticed that with Joe? I don't know, because the fact it was two Brits, is you're always going to get a bigger reaction with two Brits. But this is, this is a harder fight for Joe than, than Dubois. It's no disrespect. He's just a harder fight. Like Joe won the last fight off a jab. I think he threw about four right hands. He, he was easy for Joe. Like He just was. It was an easy fight for Joe. Takam, you're going to need more than the jab to fight Takam because he gets in on the inside. Joe's going to have to stand and fight at certain stages of the fight. It's going to be uncomfortable at certain stages, but too big and too strong, Joe, for Takam, in my opinion. Well, Joe did say to me earlier that he's going to have to be aware because he don't want to get his nose bust up like Anthony Joshua because no, it's yeah, not yeah. just the Joshua he, fight. He, he, Every Takam attack is led with the head. He, he, he drops the one, one, two nut, isn't it? It's the one nut, like left hand nut, isn't it? So he goes in straight with his, with his big peanut, doesn't he, old Takam? Um, just away from Joe, obviously, I said Babich, good fun having him down and yeah. seeing him say this and that. Is he just gunning for your stable? Is that what I'm hearing? Sold acres at Christmas? I, I don't know. If he, if he, listen, if he wants to fight Sol, Sol's ready for him. Like, I, 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 I'm a big fan of Babich. Right? He's good fun to have around. If that's a fight that's, that's going to be made, then, then Sol's not going to turn it down. And I'm sure Alan with his big Croatian balls isn't going to turn it down either. He isn't. Simple as. Um, just quickly on your new signing, Darius Fulgham, yeah. um, number one ranked US heavyweight, yeah. will be operating at light heavy. Yeah. Um, yeah, a bit of excitement. Oh, I'm so excited by it. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm 
well, rightfully so. Like he's a number one ranked heavyweight in the United States of America, 2018 Golden Gloves winner, boxed at Team USA, boxed all around, the, all around the world as an amateur. The only reason he's not going to the limits is because they do it on ranking points now, and they cancelled his final qualifier, so he had, he couldn't physically go to the Olympics. So I've got a, I've got a potential superstar on my hands there, and I'm, we're really excited to get him going. I mean, I know Vegas is like your second stomping ground, but just looking at your stable, yeah, obviously you've got Guido who's based out there, fights in the States yeah. with top rank as well, but is this sort of a massive move for S-Jam, yeah, picking up is. someone of that quality so quickly who's from the States? Well, make no mistake about it, of course it is. It's a massive day for our, it was a massive day for our business, like the fact we've managed to kind of break into that kind of market and long may it continue, do you know what I mean? We've got, we've got a, I've got a good relationship with a lot of people in America, but that, that's, our, that's our, like a, it's a marquee signing for us for sure.